Hi Virgo, welcome back. We are Twin Oracles, back again to do your mid-February reading. Although it says mid-February, our intentions are, Virgo, that this is a timeless reading, meaning whenever this video finds you, whether it be today, tomorrow, a year from now, two years from now, have faith and trust that when you're watching this video, when this video finds you, that's when it will be most resonance for you in your life and it will be most applicable to you in your life, okay? So have faith in the timing that you watch this video that it's meant to be. It is also a general reading, which means it is not a personal reading. Therefore, it may or may not resonate. Take what does resonate, leave what does not resonate as well. Check out your sun, moon, and rising sign as well. Watch those videos. They may res resonate better, or you can watch this video down the road at some other time. All right. With that being said, we want to wish all of you a happy Valentine's Day. To those of you that um, celebrate Valentine's Day, we wish you nothing but love, happiness, and joy on this special day. Remember to always love yourself first and foremost, okay? So happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you all of you, to those of you that have liked this video upon entering, all your likes, your shares. Thank you for subscribing to Twin Oracles. Uh, it's a beautiful energy of exchange. And it lets us know visually that you know we are making a difference and helping you in some way, shape, or form. So thank you for all your love, support. Um, if you were looking to send some love over our way, that link is down below as well. And also be sure to hit that notification bell so that way you're advised of all of our upcoming uploads and you don't lose our Twin Oracles channel. With all that being said, let's hop into your reading today. We will be using the Solus Divinity Tarot. We will also be using the Intuit Twin Flame Oracle deck. And we'll be using this Intuit Twin Flame Oracle deck as messages from your higher self. So what does your higher self want to tell you? Um, you know, how can you become unstuck? Also, uh, how can you grow, expand, evolve, etc.? At the end of the reading, we will pull a card from the Lover's Oracle. And if this video does turn out to be a twin flame reading, we will pull a card or two from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. All right. Now, with all that being said, let's hop into your reading, Virgo. Now, I was picking up intuitively, Virgo. Some of you um, have some spiritual gifts and you're really uh, doing a great job at developing these spiritual gifts. And it's coming to the point where you're going to start noticing um, rewards. You're going to start noticing the benefits of having these gifts. You're going to start noticing that people are recognizing you. They're recognizing your gifts. They're seeing who you are. They're seeing what you're capable of doing. So your spiritual gifts I'm picking up are coming out into the spotlight, coming out into the open, and they're being seen by others. All right. So if that's something that you're looking for, Virgo, like this video and comment down below as well. Okay. If at any given point in time this message resonates with you, hit that like button and comment down below. We are trying to grow a beautiful family here where we can help encourage and uplift each other. All right. God, what are the most important messages that Virgo needs to hear whenever they watch this video? I just need to take a sip of tea. What are the most important messages for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to hear whenever they watch this video? All right, I knew. You know, the, the, the video that I just did before this was Leo. And in the Leo's video, I felt, after I was done putting all the cards away for Leo, I'm like, why am I feeling the lover's card? And here we are the lover's card. So some of you are madly in love. You're with your partner. You're with your life partner. Um, if you're not with your life partner, for those of you that are still single, this has something to do with a decision that you're being asked to make. Now, I am feeling already as well that, remember how I just said I was intuitively feeling that some of you have a spiritual gift that is becoming noticed, like people are seeing your gifts and what you're capable of. 
it's like you might have a decision that you, you have to make here, Virgo. There's some kind of decision that you might have to make here and it has to do with your divine gifts, with these gifts that you have. Maybe your partner is trying to encourage you to get yourself out there more or your partner is trying to encourage you to, um, you know, put yourself on a different kind of a platform or put yourself on a platform or write a book or um, your partner here is trying to encourage you to make a choice to do something bigger with your gifts. Let's see. Next, we have the King of Cups. This could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. The Lover's card could represent a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. I'm just telling you what these signs are. Uh, some of you could be meeting someone here. Someone of a spiritual nature that can help encourage you or help you to put your gifts on a spiritual level, like to help put your gifts on a new platform, a different platform, or to get yourself out there more, to show yourself, you know, more in the spotlight, to put your, to help put you more into the spotlight. So you could be meeting someone here that might want to help you put you more into the spotlight. Now, others of you, if you're single, if you're single, Virgo, you could be meeting someone here. This could be a divine counterpart here. You could be meeting someone. It could be a twin flame. Let's see. What else do we have for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? messages do we have for Virgo? Please be clear, make it good. All right, so let's work with these cards. Interesting. So you have here the High Priestess, okay? And, you know, this is what I was picking up on when I had mentioned that in the beginning, I was picking up that there's someone of a spiritual nature here. Someone has spiritual gifts. And that, you know, you're being asked to show your gifts, to share your gifts more with humanity. Next we have, um, okay, so let's talk about this for a second. So the high priestess can talk about making a decision, okay? There's someone that you could be meeting here. And, you know, to me, this represents spirituality. This represents spirituality. And this represents spirituality. If I see the combination of the three here, I can say that they, they all represent spirituality here. Now, if this isn't spiritual nature, spiritual in nature, this could be you discovering something about someone. Maybe there's some kind of information that comes out about someone here. Because, you know, this is... Usually this High Priestess talks about mystery. It could be talking about someone that is like the medium between the occult. You could have a gift, a spiritual gift that's hidden from you now that's going to come out in, in, in the future. Maybe there's a spiritual gift that you have that you don't know about yet. Let's keep going. Next, you have Judgment, Ace of Wands, and Justice. There's something coming into balance for you. But there's some kind of new beginning, though. There, I feel like there's something you don't know about. You know, okay, Virgo, this is deep. This is very spiritual. This is deep. Okay. Oh, I don't even know how to put this into words.
Now, for starters, one message that I'm picking up is perhaps for some of you, someone from your past could be coming in and wanting to make amends, wanting to have a reconciliation, wanting to have forgiveness, wanting to, you know, let's be friends, let's start over, let's give this another chance, let's give this another go. So that's one thing here, because I'm seeing with the judgment, this can be a reconciliation. Um, this Ace of Wands could be like a new offer, a new beginning. You know, let's try to make this work again. And it could be someone who's karmic, someone from your past, like a karmic person or, you know, a soul friend or soulmate or something of the sort here. So someone from your past might want to come in here to reconcile, to forgive, to make things right, to bring things back into balance, to make things right, to make wrongs right. So there could be something coming in pertaining to that, okay? But what's really interesting here is you have a major arcana, major arcana, you have a person and an ace, which is a new beginning, and you have two more major arcanas. So it's like there's something lining up for you here, Virgo, that you don't know about. Something lining up for you that you don't see. You know, maybe someone's going to come in here and offer you an opportunity of some sort. This, okay, so this Ace of Wands could be writing a book. Um, maybe you wrote a book and someone's going to come in and give you an offer about this book in some way, shape, or form. But what this leads to is a new beginning. There, there's, it's like you have a second chance of life or a new life, a new beginning. And it's like you don't know it yet. You, you don't even see this coming yet. It's, you don't see this yet. You don't know it yet. You don't see it yet, but it's coming. You know, with the justice, this could be a contract. And this could be signing that contract with this King of Cups. Maybe someone comes in and offers you something. They see that your gifts, they see, you know, your what you're able to do, what you're capable of doing, and how spiritual you are. And maybe they offer you a contract of some sort. And you have a choice to make. Do you take that call? Do you sign that contract or not? Because you have two here, which is the high priestess, and number 20, which is judgment, which is really two, two. So the number 22 is very significant here. And this is a king of cups. This is an ace of wands. If you add those two together, that's another two. And this is six, and this is 11, which 11, if you add one and one together, that's another number two. So there's twos all over your reading here. And on the lover's card, there's two people, which is another two. There's something big going on here that you don't know about. Now, for others of you, you could be moving, okay? So you, you could be, you know, maybe your soul, your soul is calling you to move somewhere, to go somewhere, um, to reestablish your life somewhere else, okay? That's for some of you. And it's up to you, the judgment, it's up to you if you want to answer that call or not. But this Ace of Wands can sometimes represent a move. And with the Justice, that could represent, you know, the contract, sign the contract, etc. A legal binding contract, you know, buying a home or, or moving. Maybe some of you are purchasing a home here. That's when you're going to move and that's the new beginning. You're starting over here. There's a rebirth. There's a renewal here, a rebirth. So for some of you, this can represent a move also. But there's something hidden here. There's something you don't know about yet. There's something you don't know about here yet. Virgo, let me know. What is this for you? Let me know. Comment down below. What is this for you? Is it a move? Is it a contract? Is it a book signing? Is it a house? You're purchasing a home. You're relocating. There's something, a new beginning here of some sort here with the judgment. There's some kind of a new beginning. And for some of you, you don't even know about this new beginning yet. You, it hasn't happened yet.
excuse me, I'm just drinking some tea. Let's get into the Intuit Twin Flame Oracle deck. What messages do you have for Virgo? What Virgo, what does your higher self want to tell you here? What is this mystery? What is this mystery that you don't know about? Now, some of you, if you're not with someone, if you're not partnered with your life partner, you could be meeting someone here and this person has a crush on you. They have their eyes on you and you don't know it. To me, I'm picking this up as a secret admirer. Someone who likes you that you don't even know about. A secret admirer. That's what this is here. What messages do you have for Virgo? Yeah, definitely picking up a secret admirer. Too many cards. What messages for Virgo? All right. So you have number five, which says mirrors. You are in your old patterns, but can't you can't see it. See, there's something mysterious here. There's something that you don't see. There's something you don't know. That has everything to do with this high priestess. This is something hidden. The high priestess talks about something hidden. There's something you don't see. There's something that you don't know. So for some of you, you're in some kind of old pattern. There's a trigger. There's something that you used to do and you tried, you've overcome it, but now you're back doing it again. There's, you know, something you're needing to change. Number five here represents change. It refers to change. So there's something that you're in an old patterning about, that, but you can't see it. You don't see that you're in this old pattern. You, it's oblivious to you. You don't see that you're in this old pattern, but you're being asked to change it, to go, you know, to get out of that old patterning here. What else do you have for Virgo? What else do you have for Virgo? Some of you might have a twin. You might have a twin or you might have twins. Because if you look at this card here, they look like twins. Well, it is a twin because it's a mirror image. It's a mirror, a reflection of the same person, right? But some of you could have twins. But there's something that, it's like you're in an old pattern and you're being asked to change that old pattern. That's it. You're just being asked to change the old pattern. You're in an old pattern and you can't see it. And maybe your partner, if you're with someone, has been trying to tell you that you're in an old pattern, but you weren't seeing it. So it's for you to grow above and beyond and to get out of that old patterning next you have the suit of growth all about growth okay there's 11 suits in this deck and this suit is all about growth it says i'm not going to give in to fear i know fear is only an illusion so for some of you that's what it is for some of you is is that you know, maybe fear in the past would get the best of you and maybe you overcame fear and now you're back in fear. So for some of you, it's to heal the fear. For some of you, it's to heal the fear. All right, what else do you have for Virgo? So it's to come out of that fear, turn that fear into faith, turn that fear into courage. Turn that fear into trust. Next, you have number four under the suit of timing and intentions. Timing and intentions. I don't feel deserving and it's affecting my levels of abundance and openness. Yeah, so there's something here that requires healing and it has everything to do with healing something from childhood. It has everything to do with some form of unworthiness. When you were a child, you know, maybe you didn't get something that you wanted or you received something, but it wasn't what you wanted, right? There's something there where, you know, money wants to come to you, 
you know, through different forms. It could be, you know, through buying a house. It could be through writing a book, signing for a book contract. Money wants to come to you in some way, shape, or form here. But you're being asked to answer the call, to take the call of healing fear and of healing unworthiness because it's an old patterning, it's an old programming, and it's a limiting belief. The belief of fear and lack and unworthiness is only going to block you and it's going to keep you stuck. It's going to block your finance finances, it's going to block your abundance, and it's going to block you from showing yourself to the world and showing your spiritual gifts to the world. So it's closing you off. Fear pinches you. Fear pinches you off of what you do deserve in life. And you're being asked to answer the call and to heal the fear. It's hiding. The fear is hiding. That's why you can't see it. That's why this high priestess is here. It's hiding. And someone around you has been trying to tell you or show you that you're in fear. No, no, it's not like that. No, it's not like that. You've got this. You can do it. Someone's been trying to encourage you but you've been stuck in fear and you haven't seen it. It's been hiding. It, the fear went under the radar to the point that you never even noticed that you have the fear. It's been there, but you didn't notice it because it was hiding. And so it's to heal that. It's to heal the fear, to heal the unworthiness, to heal the lack, to heal you know, lack of love, lack of unworthiness, lack of abundance. This will all, it's all old programs and it's going to pinch you off. It's going to cut off. It's going to cut off your abundance, your prosperity. It's going to cut off you being seen in the world, your gifts being seen in the world. You're being asked to heal this. So please, Virgo, answer the call and heal this. If you need help, reach out. Reach out. We're here for you. There's something from childhood. You feel like you don't deserve money. You feel like you don't deserve abundance. There's something that's coming from childhood here. Next, you have number nine. You're on a mission here. It's under the suit of mission. You're on a mission. Because of you, I'm starting to see what is really important in life. So there is someone that's showing you here what is really important in life. There's someone by your side here. Some of you, again, some of you are with your partner with the lover's card here. For some of you, it could be a Leo. Because again, I, I did mention that when I was done doing the Leo's reading, I pulled, I was putting the cards away. And when I was putting the cards away, I felt the lover's card. And then your first card out, right after Leo's video, I did Virgo, I'm doing you right now. Right away, first card out was lover's. So there is someone around you here that's helping you through this. And they're loving you every step of the way. So you will come out of this fear because you have someone around you that's helping you. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer. Someone around you is helping you through this to bring you back into balance. They're encouraging you, uplifting you, and you're going to see what they've been trying to tell you now. And maybe now after watching this video, it's going to help you understand and realize, oh, I get it now. I see it now. There's something you weren't seeing here. Something was hidden with the high priestess. Okay, let's pull a card from the lover's oracle. And we have, sometimes the one thing you're looking for is the one thing you cannot see. Oh my God, didn't I just say you didn't see it? It was hidden. It was hidden. So for some of you, you have been feeling blocked, you've been feeling stuck, you've been feeling stagnant, like things cannot move forward and you don't know why and you've tried everything but nothing is working and it's what you're looking for is something that you couldn't see. You had to watch this video to understand what's going on. You couldn't see the fear, you couldn't see the insecurity, you couldn't see the unworthiness, the lack, you couldn't see that there were all these weeds between you and your partner and all these weeds between you and this person that wants to give you this contract. There's blockages here. These are all blockages. It, it, this is a barrier. This is a wall that's put up and you couldn't see beyond this wall, beyond this barrier. And someone's trying to give you something here. They have their hand extended out to you. And you're like, oh no, I can't see. What? Like you couldn't see. You can't see. You couldn't see that you were in this fear. The fear was consuming you. Fear, insecurities, 
Whew, there's just so much here from childhood. There's a lot of insecurities I'm picking up from childhood. Something happened when you were a kid and there's insecurities and you know, you're being asked to heal this. You're being asked to answer the call. Now that you know what's going on, answer the call and heal this. Now you know. Now you can't say you don't know because now you know you watch the video. You can see something's going on and it's to heal past childhood trauma. So you realize you're worthy, you're deserving, you're more than lovable, you're loving, you're loved. You deserve this and more. You've got this. You can do it. The money is coming towards you. Heal the fear. Fear is just an illusion. Take down that wall so you, so these gifts can come in for you. So this opportunity. Someone wants to offer you something. And they can't if you're stuck in fear. If you feel like you're not good enough. If you feel like you can't do this. If you feel like your spiritual gifts aren't good enough. Or you're not good enough. Or you're unworthy. What are your insecurities, Virgo? Comment down below and then work towards healing them. Heal your insecurities, let them go, answer the call. You're being asked to answer this call. If you need help, reach out, we're here. We love you, Virgo. I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this video resonated with you. Again, happy Valentine's Day. Make sure to love yourself first and foremost. Be sure to like that video on the way out. Be sure to subscribe to Twin Oracles. Share this video with a loved one. If someone came to your mind when you were watching this video, share this video with them because that's your intuition saying that they need to hear this video too. And hit that notification bell on your way out. So that way you don't lose our channel, Twin Oracles. We love you. Until the next time, bye for now. We love you, Virgo.